let's laugh at the NSA a little bit. You guys remember how uh, for the past couple of months, I've been covering multiple articles about boomers trying to destroy encryption and legitimately trying to claim, uh, oh, well, if you give us a back door, that's totally not going to compromise security. Well, looks like these guys were full of shit exactly as we predicted they would be from the NSA. We've learned our lesson after foreign spies use one of our crypto backdoors, but we can't say how exactly. It's said the NSA drew up a report on what it learned after a foreign government exploited a weak encryption scheme championed by the U.S. spying agency in Juniper Firewall Software. However, curiously enough, the NSA had been unable to find a copy of that report. <laughs> Well, well, may, maybe the maybe that's Russian interference. The Russian bots clearly t uh, took it away, huh? On Wednesday, Reuters reporter Joseph Min published an account of U.S. Senator uh, Ron Wyden's efforts to determine whether the NSA is still in the business of placing backdoors in U.S. tech products. TLDR: Yes, they are, but they're not going to admit to it. You guys remember when Snowden first dumped the, those giant leaks on the NSA? And they 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 just kept lying. It's like, no, 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 we don't do that. We don't do that. And then evidence came out. All right, fine, we do that. But we don't do any of this other stuff, I promise. And then the leaks came out. So you literally can't trust anything they say. This is the scary thing. This one foreign spy agency that uh, apparently exploited that encryption backdoor, this is the only one they know about. This is the only one they found out about because uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. This this is not it's not really a well-kept secret in the industry. Everyone kind of knows it. But outside of the industry, very few people seem to understand how uh, how it works with things like uh, zero day exploits and bugs and shit like that. Most of the time. When a government finds some zero-day exploit or a bug, because these governments have hackers on the payroll actively hunting for this shit, or when, a, uh, when, when some private corporation finds it, a lot of times they will sit on it. Like, see, governments, if they're the ones that find an exploit first, do they let the company know so they can increase their security so we can all be safer? Fuck no! They pr they sit on it and keep it under wraps, and so they can use it in their quote unquote hacking tools. And when private companies find it, they sell it. Now that's a the, yeah. There was one case where the uh, was where, where the government was trying to get something off of an encrypted iPhone, and Apple refused to help them. So they actually were they they spent uh, a copious amount of taxpayer money to buy a zero-day exploit from one of these shady uh, private corporations that happened to, to have one, and they were able to you know, hack the phone that way and get the information they needed. But that, that's, how the, uh, th that's how it works in, in the dark underbelly of uh, encryption and cybersecurity. E everyone knows about this. Everyone knows. So... Uh, if you find an exploit or two, yeah, some other government may have found a few others that you don't know about yet. It's it's a very uh, very it's a very special industry, but this, this is also why open source is so important too. With open source, doesn't fucking matter. Eventually someone's going to fix it. Eventually someone's going to find it. According to Boomer logic, open source software is less secure because everyone can see the code. That's according to boomer logic, but according to real logic, open source software is the most secure because everyone can see the code, which means literally everyone on the fucking planet can find bugs and security holes and exploits in it. So yeah, open source software is the way to go. But the government doesn't like that shit because it's almost impossible to install. You got to be real good. You got to be better than anyone else on the planet, really, to insert like a backdoor or some shit into uh, open source software. Uh-uh, it's not going to happen.
Now, why then a Democrat from Oregon opposes such efforts? Because uh, as the June, uh, wow, a Democrat doing something good for once. That that's that's awesome. Yeah, uh, as the uh, Juniper incident demonstrates, they can backfire, thereby harming national security. And because they diminish the appeal of American-made tech products, you think? But Wyden's inc- inquiries as a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee have been stimmied by lack of cooperation from the spy agency and the private sector. In June, Wyden and various colleagues sent a letter to Juniper CEO Rami Rahim to a- or asking about uh, several likely backdoors in its net screen line of firewalls. Juniper acknowledged in current year minus five that unauthorized code, quote unquote, has been found in screen OS, which powers its net screen firewalls. It has uh, it's been suggested that the code was in place uh, since around 2008, 12 fucking years. And they've been doing this even longer. The Reuters report, citing a previously undisclosed statement uh, to Congress from Juniper, claims the network biz acknowledged that an unnamed national government had uh, converted the mechanism first created by the NSA. Oops. So, so I'm just waiting, man. Like, once these fucking idiot boomers get their way and there's back doors into everything, whoever is the next Snowden, like that mad lad's going to be a hero. I- imagine if someone leaked all the back doors like at once just dumped it all over the internet like here's how you get access to literally any computer system (laughs) oh my god that will be so fucking hilarious why didn't staffers in current year minus two were told by the nsa that a lessons learned report that uh, about the incident had been written yeah the lesson is don't insert these fucking back doors but uh, Wyden's spokesperson Keith Chu told reports the NSA now claims it can't find the file. Wyden's office did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The reason this malicious code was able to decrypt screen OS VPN connections had been attributed to, to Juniper's decision to use the NSA designed uh, dual EC pseudo was was a pseudo random number generator. There we go. I was trying to read it as pseudonym. <laughs> The company has yet to clarify exactly why it made that decision. Oh, they're never going to. You realize if the NSA comes to you and says you're going to put a back door into this, you, part of the stipulation is you're never going to talk about it. These guys are under heavy legal threat. They will never admit to any of this. They are never going to give you any more uh, any more information. If you want any more information, you're going to have to go a bit higher up in the political chain and get some shit. Uh, just get, get them... Uh, Freed from the whatever contract they signed. And Juniper did not respond to a request for comment. Of course they didn't. They never will. When former NSA contractor Edward Snowden leaked agency secrets in current year minus seven, Reuters reported that years earlier, a security firm RSA, now part of Storage Biz EMC, had accepted a $10 million contract with the NSA to use dual elliptic curve or dual EC encryption. RSA at the time denied some of the claims without uh, disputing the existence of the contract. Well, they are obligated to do that. Yeah, kind of like how Soiny is censoring games and then forbidding the developers from telling anyone that it was Soiny that forced the censorship. So all these developers are just beating around the bush or just refusing to answer questions. The NSA have been uh, keen to see uh, dual EC adopted and worked with the U.S. Commerce Department to promote it. But in current year minus 13, two Microsoft researchers reported there were serious flaws with the... uh, Dual EC, a deterministic random bit generator that led it to produce weak cryptography. By current year minus six, U.S. standards agency NIST withdrew support for dual EC. Juniper at some point between 2008 and 2009 appears to have added dual EC support to its products uh, at the request of a single customer, widely believed to be the NSA. Once again, they, there's, they're, they're never going to confirm or deny this. They, they can't say anything. They're legally not allowed to say anything. After Snowden's disclosures about the extent of U.S. surveillance operations in current year minus seven, the NSA said uh, the, the NSA is said to have uh, revised its policies for compromising commercial products. Why didn't other lawmakers have tried to learn more about these policies? But they've been stonewalled, according to Reuters. <sighs> when your own spy agency refuses to be upfront with you, sounds like they need to be disbanded to me. The NSA also declined to provide uh, backdoor policy details to Reuters, stating that it doesn't share specific processes and procedures. The news agency says three former senior intelligence officials have confirmed the NSA policy now requires a fallout plan with some uh, form of warning in the event an implemented backdoor gets discovered and exploited. Yeah, yeah, that's that's totally that's totally fine. 
J just a quick warning. That's okay. It's like, oh, hey, I uh, know this back door was discovered to get around all of our security. Oops, my bad. So the register asked the NSA to comment. We've not heard back. They'll also never talk about this. This is I mean, what do people expect? Seriously, do they not understand how this industry works? Well, clearly they don't. Now they're never going to get any information out of either Juniper or the NSA. Unless some high-ranking politician came in and forced some shit to be declassified, you're never going to hear shit. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.